watching New York One News all morning. information is too much when it comes to teaching your kids how to manage their money. Tara Lynn Wagner explores the question in the final part of her series, Money Matters, Teach Your Children. If you want to raise financially savvy kids, speak up. One of the pitfalls that parents can actually have in talking to their kids about money is not talking to their kids about money. But while experts advocate transparency and open dialogue, there are a few things better left unsaid. You do not want to fight about how we're spending money, who's making more money, who's spending too much in front of your kids. Don't say, don't tell dad the shoes really cost X, and, or don't say, don't tell mom I paid with this on our credit card. You have to really model the right behavior. You don't need to tell your children how much money you make. You don't need to tell your children necessarily how much the mortgage is. That's not to say you should leave your kids in the dark either, especially if the family's going through a financial hardship. While you shouldn't panic your child or make them worried, it's okay to sit down and explain to them how things may be different and the importance of making choices. The importance of making choices is actually one of those pivotal money lessons you'll need to go over again and again, even if it means stopping in the store aisle to offer an explanation rather than an excuse. Don't say we can't afford it. Don't behind, hide behind that. Say. If we buy this, we may not, we can't buy groceries or we won't be able to go bowling on Saturday. So help them understand the choices that you make. Of course, there are times when it pays to bite your tongue. The only way they'll learn from their money mistakes is if they make them. So resist the urge to rush in and bail them out. They have to pay 30 bucks for an overdraft. Well, once you pay that $30, you will always remember that lesson. From needs versus wants to student loan interest, there's a lot of ground to cover. The key to getting your kids to listen, keep it conversational. If you start to lecture kids about money or anything else, you've lost them. There's so many opportunities in every day that you're doing with your children to share knowledge and let the conversation go as it may. For more tips on how to talk to your children about money, visit moneyasyougrow.org. For Money Matters, Tara Lynn Wagner, New York One.